Converting between improper fractions and mixed numbers. This video assumes an understanding of the connection between improper fractions and mixed numbers. If you'd like to review this, check out our video on this topic using the link in the description. Before we start looking at how to convert between improper fractions and mixed numbers, let's quickly review what each is. An improper fraction is a fraction with a numerator larger than its denominator. For example, three halves. Improper fractions are greater than one. A mixed number is a mix of a whole number and a fraction. For example, one and a half. Mixed numbers are also greater than one. You can see here that three halves and one and a half are equivalent. Let's look at how we can convert between the two. We'll start by converting a mixed number, two and a quarter, into an improper fraction. First, we write down the denominator of the improper fraction. Because our mixed number is in quarters, our improper fraction will also be expressed in quarters. Then, we multiply the whole part of the mixed number by the denominator. In this example, that's 2 multiplied by 4, which is 8. Then we add the numerator, which is 1, to this number. 8 plus 1 is 9. This is the numerator of our improper fraction. 2 and a quarter as an improper fraction is 9 quarters. It's important to understand why we follow these steps. So let's go back and take a closer look. Here is the mixed number we started with. Why did we multiply the whole part of the mixed number by the denominator? Because if we're working with quarters and we've got one whole, how many quarters do we have altogether? That's right, four. So if we've got two whole, how many quarters would we have? Eight because two lots of four is eight. In the next step, we added the numerator to this number. Why? Well, so far we have eight quarters. Now eight quarters is simply two whole, but the mixed number shows us that as well as the two whole, there is another quarter. So we add the one quarter to our eight quarters, and this gives us our total of nine quarters. Now let's look at going back the other way, converting an improper fraction to a mixed number. To help you understand the process, we'll use the improper fraction 9 quarters. First, we must work out how many times the denominator fits into the numerator. That is, how many times does 4 fit into 9? We can see that 4 fits into 9 once, twice. It fits in two times. This becomes the whole of our mixed number. Since the improper fraction is in quarters, our mixed number will also be in quarters. All that's left is working out the numerator of our mixed number. When we worked out how many 4s fit into 9, it didn't fit evenly. There was one left over. This one becomes our numerator. 9 quarters as a mixed number is 2 and a quarter. Again, it's important to understand why, so let's go back and take a closer look. Here is the improper fraction we started with. Why do we work out how many times the denominator goes into the numerator? Well, since we're working with quarters, we know that every time we have four of them, we have one whole. So by working out that there are two lots of four in nine, we know that our number must have two whole. Then we get our numerator from the number left over because while there weren't enough quarters left to make a new whole, it's important that we don't forget that this single quarter is also a part of our number. 
Thanks for watching. EasyTeaching.net